Hey, let's talk beer. Let's do, yeah, no, we're trying to get this ready. So I, in recent like news, um, I don't know if you guys were aware of this, but uh, art in the Seattle area has become somewhat of, not only is, is it important as part of our culture, but we were talking about the Showbox Theater. Mm -hmm. Maybe they were taking yep. it down, and so a lot of people are fighting that. So we want to preserve art as much as possible. We've got Joe Basaka here, co-founder of Elysian. Thanks. And you are trying to do something with art to keep it alive, keep it part of Seattle, alive keep it part of this nation. forward vision resonant in the city. So Absolutely. How, how are you going about So we that? partnered with local artists in a bunch of cities across the nation, locally here too, uh, to use some of the labels that we've done in some of our graphics as inspiration to create their own art. So the rule is it can't be branded, it has to be their own thing. Okay. Uh, but they use those as sort of root inspiration for what they're going to do on the outside. We sent you guys links to a few, a few of those. Yeah, to, so I, I basically want to see like who you're reaching out to. What are these, where are they coming from, these artists? Like what uh, cities? Florida, LA, Seattle, all, all over. Wow. Do yeah. they have to drink beer at the time they're coming up with the artwork? <laughs> well, if they don't start with it, they're going to wind up with it at the end. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so we, we have some of these uh, yeah. pieces that you're showcasing here. So the idea here is just to, to help them um, think of something artistic and to just start a chain reaction of, of people exactly. doing murals mm -hmm. or, in your case, beer bottle labels. It can be anything? It can be anything. And then bring social media attention to what they're doing and introducing art back into the cities. Right? Yeah. So, so I know that here in Seattle, there's a number of places you can go to where there's murals. I mean, some people, a lot of people would say the gum wall is, mm -hmm. is being sure. very artistic, yeah. right? And there have been times when, I don't know if it's, uh, it's different cities or people in general want to remove it to clean it and kind of clean it up. But like you're saying, is like, no, no, we should keep some yeah, of that stuff. Leave, you, you keep, keep it going. I, th I think, you know, as the cities grow, you lose a little bit of that culture. You lose a little bit of that sense. Uh, and that's kind of more who we are than... The buildings, you right, know, and the right. you know, you know, you know, business, the businesses that are that are there. So to preserve it, to keep it in town, I think is uh, huge for us. I would always say that, mm -hmm. that your brand, though, has had that artistic flair. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking at the yeah. Space Dust sure. IPA, which uh, I have a friend who just swears by it. He says it's <laughs> a friend who says it's their favorite yes, beer. Yes, it makes you swear. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, there, there's always been this artistic flair. Sure, we uh, we have an inside uh, gra graphics team. So I have a team of artists mm -hmm. that uh, work for us inside. They do all the, all the labels. Like uh, this label was actually Needlepoint. Hmm. Describe what's going on in some of these images that we're seeing here. So uh, Space Dust, yeah. this uh, photographer took his own twist on Space Dust mm. uh, to do uh, a little series of photos yeah. Uh, you know, and again, and, again, and again, we're not directing anything with these guys. We want them to do what they want to do. So, uh, You're also on the board of something called COCA. You're right. Which, so, what is that? Uh, Center on Contemporary Arts. Uh, so what we do is try to provide uh, a location for local artists, small artists, uh, to have their first shows at and to kind of get that um, foothold, right? Right. And then to sort of sponsor them and get them built up. All right. Yep. Very so it's sort cool. of the first stage training wheels. I just love how you have a company that started right in Seattle area, mm -hmm. this little brewery, and then you expanded to be so delicious that the country and loves it. And now mm -hmm. you're trying to come around full sure, circle. Sure, bringing everything back. So that's cool, man. Thank you.